Hey, what's up guys? It's uh, Artbook Addiction here, and we're here with a new uh, video, right? So I gotta, get, I gotta get used to that. It's it's hard for me just to, like, you know, not say art book review. It's just, but whatever, you know what I mean? <clears throat> so, today, um, I want to talk about something that I've been getting into, right, recently. Um, uh, and that is the Vita, right? There you go. There it is. There is the beautiful OLED screen Vita, okay? This is my original Vita. This is the Vita that I had like way back in the day. I was one of the early adopters and um, honestly the the early version is probably the best one to get. Um, <clears throat> uh, I just wanted to recommend this console because as of recent I've been doing a lot of retro gaming, right? Well, I guess retro, you know, I mean it is kind of retro now, but um, the Vita has just, you know, ever since I started playing it, ever since I started like really enjoying it, um, it's kind of like opened my world to like the like just like the amount of games that you could play and like you know um, I've started to realize you know because I've, I've always had the feeling recently or not 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 recently but like you know like for the past couple of years that I was like you know like it feels like I feel like old games were, were better you know what I mean like like today's market, you know, you see all the, it's all triple A, like high budget, you know, a lot of crunch, you know what I mean? There's all, there's all these dramas, you know, the review bullshit, like this is, there's so much BS with just like playing a game now. And it just really made me reminiscent for like, you know, like, hey, like, can I just play a game? And it's like the full thing, you know, no DLC, no battle pass, any of that bullshit, right? Could it, like, and I was like, you know what, dude? Um, I started, okay, so I started playing my 3DS, right, which is also a great experience, I'll make another video on that, um, but because of the 3DS, right, and I, uh, modded it, right, because, you know, that's the way to go, right, um, and I have a whole bunch of games on there, and, like, I've just been having a great time, right, but then recently, I was like, you know, since I started this, this retro gaming kind of journey, um, I got the Vita, right, again, I'm showing the Vita, I don't know why, you, you guys already saw it. Um, and the Vita has just been magical, okay? Like, the games that you could play on this thing are fantastic, right? Um, the thing that really pulled me in to playing the Vita, um, right here you can see, th this is, hold on, this is gameplay, uh, no, no, here we go. This is gameplay for Rich Racer on the PSP, right? Um, I, like, I just have been playing... A shit ton of Ridge Racer, right? I started getting into Danganronpa 2 because, you know, um, that's great. That's, you know, I'm getting, I'm getting ahead of myself, right? So, um, at the end of the day, dude, the reason why the Vita is great is because it is, uh, the, like, one of the perfect, um, portable devices, right? Okay, so, um, one thing that I really like about the Vita is that it's not too big, right it's not too big you can fit it right in your pocket right so the switch i have one right here i have my switch so the switch oh sorry turn that off the switch big clunky okay hold on the vita much slimmer okay like i don't know if you guys have tried to put your your switch into your pocket but it's no good, man. It just doesn't fit in the pocket. It's like, it's, it's, it's more like a tablet. You know what I mean? It's more like a tablet. But the Vita lives up to its name. It's actually um, a portable console, right? Very easy to fit in the pocket. And so, um, the best feature, right? Um, the Vita, and this is a point that I, I learned from uh, Metal Jesus Rocks, right? Re recommend that channel a lot for, you know, retro gaming in general. Um, what I learned is that you can play three consoles worth of games on the Vita, right? So you have the Vita games, right? You have the PSP games, right? And you have PS1 games, all right? So that's three entire generations of gaming library in one device, okay? Like, I don't, I don't want to, <clears throat> like, like, it's like, I don't want to emphasize, like, you know, like, I, I can't emphasize how big of a deal that is, right? But not, not c only can it do that, but it could, it's a really good emulator, right? So it could emulate SES, SNES games. It could emulate 
um, what do you call it, like Sega Genesis games. You know, there's a whole bunch of li like I haven't even gotten into that, right? I've just been playing my like P my PSP games, um, some Vita games, um, and like you know, like some PS1 games, and it just it all it all runs really really well, you know. And since this 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 device has become, you know, like like Sony doesn't give a shit about it anymore. Um, like the 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 fans have kept it alive, okay? The, it, and like that's like it really shows you how great this console is because, like, you know, I feel like if the if um, any other portable, you know, like quote unquote died or wasn't supported by the the the, the, the actual developer, like Nintendo didn't support like the 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 3DS or some shit, right? I would not see. I don't think I would see the the level of fan dedication to a system that the PS Vita has gotten, right? Because, like, as we all know, um, the Vita was a great console, okay? But, um, you know, da Daddy Sony, we don't, we don't like you, okay? You, you're not pulling in, like, Mr. PS4, okay? Like, Mr. PS5, okay? The, the younger kids. But you know what, PS, PS Vita, dude? Awesome console, dude. Did a really good job, and they just... They did them dirty, man. They did the Vita dirty, right? And it really sucks because there's like, like I said, there's so many great games, so many, so many things worth getting on the Vita. And like I said, um, by doing this, by playing the Vita, by going into the past, okay, I've just been playing mostly PSP games, right? Um, it has just shown that like, like I said, games were better back then. Games were in fact better back then. Right, so the un, un, the reason why I'm pulling up uh, Ridge Racer here, okay, is here we go. So um, the PSP version of the Vita, right? Um, fantastic game, like one of the best complete packages. Like I played it back in the day, and I like out like like honestly, like I'm like surprised at like like one the difficulty of of the games back then. Like like games used to be hard. Like they like you could you would die in games. Like in Ridge Racer, getting first place is hard, dude. Okay, it's 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 not easy. Um, I want to make like a Ridge Racer video specific, so like you know I, I won't talk, like I don't want to you know delve too deep into Ridge Racer. But if you if you do get a Vita or if you do have, if you have a PSP, right, I really recommend uh, playing it because it is just just a fantastic game. Okay, right, like like games, it's so much fun, and like. Like, you know, I lose a race, and I'm like, oh, fucking, I got, and I go back in, and I lose again, and I'm like, I'm, I was this close, dude, I was this close to winning, dude, right? And then, by the end, okay, like, by the time you get first place, you've memorized the track, you've become a master of drifting, okay? And you, like, your heart rate's like, go, 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 go. You're like, you're like, oh my god, dude, right? Like, you're sweating, dude, because you see that guy in first, dude, and you're like, you're like, you son of a bitch, dude. And you, you know, if you make one mistake, you make one mistake, you're gonna lose that race, dude, right? And that feeling, that feeling of like, like adrenaline rushing in your system, of like, like, like you're so invested that you like, there's like, there's nothing tunnel vision, okay, into a game. That's what I miss, okay. That's what I feel like isn't in games anymore, right? Um, games now they have all these annoying systems, right? They're, they're, I feel like games were made now so that you like, oh, you play for like an hour and you're good, or you like you grind, you know, you do your destiny grind or the fuck, you know, you get your jewels for the day, you do your dailies, right? It's like gotcha, you know, it's it's fine, but like, like I remember when games like they sucked me in, dude. They're like, and I, I just couldn't stop, dude. Right, and and I'm like, and not just could I could I not only stop? It's I'm so invested in the gameplay and 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 doing the thing that um, honestly, like it's it's a real shame, dude. Because like games are getting like like ten out of ten, ten out of ten, ten out of ten, and like it's like like is that really ten out of ten now? You know, like we can't trust the journalists, we can't trust nobody, right? Um, <clears throat> It's too much BS, man. And um, what really made me get, uh, what re what really made me decide to go, like you know, play the Vita and all that shit, right? It's like um, I was like, man, I saw I saw Ratchet and Clank, the new game, right? And I'm like, hey, um, I want to play uh, Ratchet and Clank, the PS5, right? But as you guys know, 
the scalpers, okay? The scalpers have ruined the market, and um, that's part of the new gaming market, you know, and Sony. Hey, man, we sold, dude. We have a huge player base, dude, you know? And I'm like, I'm like, who has a PS5, right? Like, like right now, like, like you, yourself, who do you know who owns a PS5? Nobody. Who, who do I know that owns a PS5? Nobody, okay? Only scalpers, streamers, and YouTubers, okay? Those are the only people, okay? And I, I'm a YouTuber, you know what I mean? So, like, I don't have a PS5. Nobody fucking has a console, dude, right? And then, and then so he's like, like, we're gonna release all our, all our big ass games here. And then it's like, it's like, but to who, you know? And it's like, oh, we have, we sold over 5 million copies. And I'm like, um, then where's the player base, right? They're all, they're all, everybody is just the scalpers, dude. Okay. And it's disgusting, right? So because of that, I'm like, you know, dude, fuck going forward, right? Which is something that I would usually do. I'm, I'm an early adopter, right? That's why I have the Vita in the first place because I was a huge early adopter of, of video games, right? Um, obviously I'm older now and like, I can't really, you know, be spending money like that, but either way, like, um, I've decided to go into the past, right? Instead of going forward, I go back, okay? And going back, dude, the journey has just been amazing, okay? Really, really good stuff. And, like, look at this console, dude. It deserves better, okay? It deserves way better than this, all right? So, um, let me, let me, let me give you some, some, so, be, so, retro gaming, right? Uh, portable system, okay, um, three game libraries, okay, right, and uh, my fourth reason you should get a Vita, right, uh, Persona 4, all right, that's all I gotta say, okay, like, if there's a killer app on the Vita that's meant to be, meant to be played on the Vita, that's just, like, a real, like, 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 you need a Halo, you know what I mean, Persona 4 Golden, is that app for the Vita, okay, right? Um, if there's no reason to play a Vita, there, the, the only reason, if there's only one reason, sorry, then it's for Persona 4 Golden, okay? Because um, I played that game on my Vita, and that was one of the best gaming experiences I've ever had, okay? I played like years ago, years ago, but I still remember um, playing it, uh, like, so, so I went, uh, I, I, I was, uh, I, I was on a trip, right, and I had the Vita, right, that was my only console, and I was playing only Persona 4, and the, the trip was like a two-month trip, so like the entire time I was playing, you know, just going through it, like a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, not not, not a little bit, but like, you know, sometimes I play for hours, sometimes, you know, it's, it's back and forth, but like, that was one of the best gaming experiences I've ever had, right, and maybe you're not into JRPGs, cause, but there are a lot of different options here. Right? There's a lot of racing games, there's a lot of JRPG games, right? There's a lot of classic, classically designed games. And they, I'm telling you guys, they're just so much better. They're just so much better than, than like what we have now, okay? And like, um, you will be surprised. Like, like, of course, this game, like the, the, the Ridge Racer here is like, it doesn't look that good, right? But you will be amazed on what can perform on the Vita, okay, right? Like they have Uncharted, they have the Uncharted game here, right? And it, it looks amazing, right? They have God of, you could play God of War 1 and 2 on your Vita, right? There are so many, like you could play Metal Gear Solid, um, I think 1, 2, and 3, no, 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 2 and 3, okay? Because they have the HD collection on here. It looks fantastic, dude, okay? There are so many reasons to, to play the Vita, okay? And now, so, uh, this is something that I wanted to highlight. So one of the big problems with the Vita was storage, okay? But, you know, um, as it is an old console now, right? People have come up with a little solution, right? And this is a little thing for your micro SD cards, right? So, you can see right here, boop, right? I have a 128 gig, right? From, my, from one of my old phones, right? Boom, right? And this goes right here. So you, the Vita used to have a pro proprietary uh, storage system, right? Which and which limited you to like 32, 64, right? Um, but with this, you know, it fits into the game cartridge area, right? 
Um, obviously, you need to you need you need homebrew and stuff like that to access it. Um, but once you do, you could put a million games on this thing, dude. Right? Like, I swear I have like over over like 30, 40 games on this thing. Like like including PSP, Vita, and all this shit. Right? Really? And like, come on, dude. Come on. There's so many ROMs. Okay. Right? And like PS1 games you could play on this thing. Like, P dude. Come I'm just going back, man. I'm just going back in time, and it has been a wonderful journey. A wonderful journey, because games were complete back then. There was no bullshit back then. When you made a game, it wasn't broken, okay? Like the AAA games that get 10 out of 10s now, right? Uh, Deathloop, right? Um, but, I don't know, man. And like, and it, it really it really harkens to the, the PS2 era, right? Like, 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 more, more of the PSP games and the PS Vita games, um, uh, but, like, it's just, it's just so much better, it's just so much better, and, like, like, classic gaming has just been just such a wonderful experience, man, um, I, I can't recommend the Vita enough, okay, I really, really love this console, I really recommend that you guys check it out, okay, because I think that you would love it, right? Um, I haven't really checked the prices, I need to check the prices, but like, I don't think that the Vita is very expensive right now. Um, getting the little chip right there, you know, um, you know, if you want, the Vita store is still open, so if you want, you could download games, like, legitimately, right? Um, or you could do the homebrew method, right, which is, I, I think, the best method, right? Um, and you could just load up on games, man, just load it up, dude, just... And put put all like and you know like there's a million games a lot of hidden gems on this on the PSP and on the Vita dude so many great games right and you know what dude the Vita like I said is still being supported by the fans right um, so Sony was like you know so, Sony being being uh, so 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 the way I view it is uh, the Vita okay if you guys have played Persona 4 the Vita is Nanako okay Sony is Dojima okay Dojima terrible father okay nanako wonderful daughter okay works very hard okay cooks him dinner dude all right it has to worry at night where where his drunk ass is okay right and he's literally hanging out with the super with the, with the villain of the game dude not solving the mystery okay and 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 leaving his daughter alone dude okay to 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 just live independently like like imagine having no parents dude okay that's vita that's the vita right here okay because sony just abandoned it okay but the vita is a beautiful child okay and deserves to be loved okay by many people and it is and it's it's re it really has been uh, be because of the fan support you know and so sony being sony has decided we're not releasing any more physical games we're not releasing any any more games we're going to close the ps store um, on the video, of, of course, they overturned that after the huge backlash. But, but um, companies are still releasing physical Vita cartridges. Okay, like Limited Run, right? Um, there's there's a couple more. I can't remember the name, but like Limited Run, they 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 take modern games or games that can run on the Vita and they port them to the Vita so that they run well, right? And this is all fan all fan made right and like the the guy who made the company was like i love the vita so much that i want games to be put on it right and so he just did it himself right that's it's a labor of love so like not only are you buying into the vita itself right you're buying into a huge um community of people who just love this console right of like retro gamers and like and people who 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 are dedicated to the vita and the and the system and like you know like the, this huge there's a huge community and it's just like the outpour of love for the Vita has just been wonderful right so yeah guys there's there's a lot of reasons to own a Vita but if you you know if you guys have a Vita you haven't like you know you haven't it's just collecting dust pull it out man bust it out all right okay um, just like you know if you if you want if you like, see one on GameStop and it's pretty cheap hey pick it up dude you know what I mean. If not, pick up a PSP, right? Pick up an old console, right? Because now the support for it has just like, just skyrocketed, man. And so I really recommend that you guys start 
your own little retro gaming journey, right? Because you know maybe you like you know maybe your your taste in games isn't the same as mine, but like going into the past, man, has just proven that games were just better back then, right? Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this new format. Um, I'll be trying to do more things so that I'm just like talking about my opinions in general. Uh, but this, but the the Vita video is one that I really, really wanted to do. So I really recommend that you guys uh, pick up a Vita, man. You know, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this new content. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this new format. Ooh, right? Um, please, if you enjoy it, please uh, hit that like, hit that subscribe, um, leave a comment down below. Tell me how you guys feel about the Vita and retro gaming in general. Um, ring that bell for notification. Uh, check out my Prince and Patreon if you want to support the channel. All that bullshit. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks a lot.